right people so i know it's been around like two months since i last uploaded i know it's been ages but yeah we're finally getting back to it today um as you've seen the tile and the thumbnail we're going to look at a um, modified mark 7.5 rr state um it's nv motorsports new sort of demo car uh, you guys might remember their work we did that video on that um flame spitting cupra the really crazy one so yeah this is one of their newer demo cars so what we're gonna do i'm gonna head over there check out the car show you guys all the sort of mods on it yeah just take you for a drive yeah get back to this sort of youtube thing it's been ages but well, i might be a bit rusty because literally i haven't filmed probably since around easter time it's been ages like i don't know it feels really weird holding the camera again but yeah we'll get started anyway i'll see you guys in a second all right people so here at mv motorsport the beast here mark 7.5 or state essentially what we'll do uh we'll give you guys some sound clips in a bit because it has got a sort of fancy exhaust on it as well i'll tell you which system it is in a bit but yeah first we'll walk around i'll show you the sort of so performance modifications and also the sort of visual mods because it has got a nice few added bits on it to make it just look a bit smarter right so the mark 7.5 r estate golf r facelift basically um not many golf r estates on the road so that's what i like about this is it's quite rare you don't really see many especially one that's been modified like this i definitely say it's more of a sort of perfectionist build but yeah, it's got a lot of function to it as well so it's not just all for show um, in terms of power, standard, these things have the same drivetrain as my S3. So you've got the 2 liter TFSI engine, new upgraded power, so obviously 306 BHP standard with a 7-speed box on the facelift. But this thing, of course, has got a few mods on it, like I've mentioned a few times. We won't cover too much of the sort of boring stuff that's on a normal Golf R review. I want to make this more focused on the modifications. But as you can see, OZ wheels, a massive upgraded brakes. These are Tarox 8-part brakes. Um, these OZ wheels are known as the Super 4 Giottos. They are 19 inch and they've also got Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's, one of my favorite tires. I've actually driven 4S's on a Golf R before, that black car that I did last year. But this thing's got also upgraded suspension. It's got full KW adjustable coilovers. Um, these have also got the electronic shocks, so they work with this sort of you know the ins inside you can sort of adjust the sort of DCC on the standard car it works with all that system so you can actually control it properly as you would with the factory sort of modes got upgraded rear brakes too we also got upgraded pads as well across the car I believe these pads are the um, Corsa pads that's what I've been told and also the rear discs are the Tarox F2000 discs I'll just pop up the bonnet <laughs> it's been like two months since I've filmed yeah. I'm still quite sort of rusty with the walk-arounds, but we'll get to it, guys. I just want to show you the engine bay, because normally you can just say, oh, it's got JB4, but this engine bay is nice, trust me. Loads of carbon everywhere. Probably the nicest 2-litre TFSI engine bay I've seen. We've got all the forge bits as well. And also we've got the VW Racing Line sort of dress-up kit. I'll just go over the sort of bits now. We've got a forge from my intercooler, as you can see. We've got the sort of carbon induction kit. You might have seen this previously on one of the cars that I did previously in my sort of channel. Um, that S3J before, he also had this system. You've also got the intake pipe as well. Also you got this little battery cover. It's basically got a lot of forged parts on it. And also this thing has got a Scorpion decat downpipe. So there's no cats on this car. And that is coupled with Remus catback exhaust. With the carbon tips. So yeah, definitely a lot of money spent on this. If you guys know how much a Remus system is. It's not cheap. So yeah, like I said, JB4, as you can see here. Um, this car has been dyno proven 375 horsepower on MV Motorsports dyno. This dyno is a very accurate dyno, I can confirm. There's a lot of dynos out there, they just claim a lot of things, but MV Motorsports one is definitely very accurate. And also you got the uh, seven speed DSG. So that limits torque. Of course, when you do a map, the maps are sort of coming out now with the sort of DSG maps, you can raise the limiter, but this thing's got 500 new mirrors. So yeah, there's a lot of, hidden bits on this car if you saw this on the street you might not realize how much sort has of been done to it but the key thing that mo the guys at mv most will want me to highlight is that all of this is reversible future plans for this car is to go hybrid turbo but for now this is their fast road reversible package i think what we'll do now we'll just close this i'll show you guys the interior and then we'll turn it on straight off carbon fiber here the general theme is carbon fiber on this car carbon fiber mirror caps and also check this steering wheel out. See that steering wheel, that's a proper steering wheel. Got Alcantara on the sides and carbon fiber on the top and bottom. Also got these sort of upgraded paddles. They're not just clip-ons, they're actually completely different units. Yeah, it just generally just shows the sort of 
quality of the build. All the usual stuff here we won't cover. I'm going to do that in another sort of, I am going to film a sort of standard Golf R 7.5. That's not really focused on performance. We're focusing on the build here rather than the Golf R as a normal car. But yeah, let's just turn it on. All right. Okay, startup's definitely a lot different to my car, <laughs> considering it's the same engine. Uh, this Rima system has got a control fob to go with it. So, A and B. I think what we'll do, we'll just navigate here, see what mode it's in. Of course, like I said, you've got the usual modes to go along with the sort of shocks, like, you know, the standard DCC system. It works in sort of tune with these new KW adjustable coilovers. Uh, they have their own electronic shocks. They just sort of clip into the sort of uh, plugs that are on the uh, standard car. Um, yeah, let's put it in race mode. And B. Yeah, <laughs> that's definitely open. Yeah, a lot of so there's a lot of fireworks going on now. As you heard, definitely got a nice sort of OEM depth to it. I mean, it's not like sort of fake cracking and banging. It's just like, it sounds really quality. Um, it's not over the top as well. It's a nice sort of explosion. I mean, if it's, see, but it's not overly done. Um, I quite like it. It definitely doesn't sound anything like my S3. And yeah, of course you can sort of hear the sort of quality to it. I mean, of course, Remus exhaust systems are quite expensive. Um, you guys will have heard of one of the sort of systems on my channel before. But yeah, that coupled with the Scorpion Decat downpipe, yeah, good sound man, definitely. What we'll do now though, we'll finally take this thing for a drive because I know some of you guys like the walk rounds, but some of you guys just want to see in action. So let's just get started with that. All right, people, so here we are on the Golf R Estate. Um, just trying to get familiar with the car, but it's generally quite a familiar car anyway. So, okay, a lot of whooshing going on. So like I said, if you can hear me, this thing's got a JP4 setup. So it's been dyno proven around 375 horsepower, proper horsepower. That's sort of accurate dyno I like to highlight. Um, yeah, it definitely pulls because I was just in the passenger seat up to these rods. Things are a nice power delivery, it's very linear, but I'll demonstrate that to you in a second. It's quite interesting for me though because I'm used to this powertrain in my car. Uh, of course, my S3 is a facelift, so. It has the same DQ381 as this, seven speed box if you want to call it. And um, same 306 brake horsepower. But this thing with the added sort of 70 horsepower, that feels a lot more urgent. But of course there's a lot more to this car, more than just a JB4. Suspension is one thing that I want to experience. I 
like a car that grips a lot if you want a car that slides if you want a car that sort of tears up these roads this is all you need
and uh, yeah this car will be back again with some added mods I don't know exactly where it's gonna end up but catch, it, catch it at Donington on the 8th of July yes yeah, BLB at Donington the 8th of July and yeah just generally just stay tuned guys make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for playing videos to come yeah take care guys